No, you, you won't stop. So look out there. The old diesel can't push through the snow, can it? It's kind of a lot of snow out here. It's a lot deeper than I thought. That was two-wheel drive, too. <laughs> no, it wasn't. We're gonna head up to Okabuji for uh, I don't know a day. We're gonna leave early Saturday morning, come back Sunday, come back Saturday night. It's just like I have so much to, stuff to do, work stuff, farm sim related. Uh, we're gonna go up there. I don't know. I'm, we're gonna go see what it's all about up there. I've heard I've heard Winter Games pretty cool. But anyways, guys, if you enjoy this video, smash that like button. Now, last video we were riding around, we were riding Wisconsin, and uh, I kind of noticed this too. You know, a couple times Spencer went off trails, and some guys saw it, and they got kind of mad. I only showed like the cool parts where we have fun. We're just riding like 50 mile an hour or something like that, crazy. So I don't mean I don't mean to be like really disrespectful to the trails. We're always riding slow. We're always riding safe and cautious. I only put like the crazy parts in the video. So I apologize. We really we always try to be really respectful of the trails and stuff. We're not like that. We're not the people that are just gonna freaking rip around somebody's yard. Can I hit that tree? Probably too big a ball. One more. One more. He's round second. He's coming from the outfield. Got him down. One more, one more. He's rounding third. He's going to score. Got him. There it is, there it is. Oh, oh I nicked it. Now I got that moody. <laughs> oh, she's slipping. Keep coming. Good. All right, well, Greg gets stuck. He almost got stuck without the trailer. Now he's got the trailer. And just the truck, we'll see. He has a running start. It's like, what? Remind me, I locked these. So you gotta tell me to. Okay, you just. Lock, can I lock these? No, no. The rear, I already locked the rear. So you just turn it? What? No, no. Oh, it's only the front, the front hub. Okay. The rear, I can lock manually. Okay. Perks of having a Ford. Alright, cool. Alright. I can't go down the interstate with the lock, so just remind me after we get out of there. Okay, okay. All right, make sure to remind us those are locked. I'm trying to remind me. That'll be funny if we forget. All right, it's plugged in. Wheel blocks are out. Chains are hanging low. Good luck. Yeah. Just go, go, scroll over to the. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, will you get stuck? We don't know. We got the trailer on. We good? Yep, you're good. Yeah, I, I'm gonna almost like have to gas it once I get out of there. Yeah, you look good. We made it. So normal four-wheel drive doesn't have all four four wheels spinning at once. So uh -huh, tell when you lock the rear, it'll have all we, all the wheels on the rear spinning at once simultaneously. And when you lock the front too, the front is all spinning at once. Okay. Let's just do it now and be done though. Right out of the funnel too. Seems like it uses a lot more oil. It could have been when it was backfiring, but uh, we smoked. I don't know what happened here. Maybe it was when we were riding, but this muffler is just shot. The muffler's absolutely gone right now. So, dang. Right when we fired her up, too. I think it would have. Off. So just that like weld right there. Yeah, but it the looks pretty clean. It, you know, like that circle, like it's a perfect break. The muffler you're gonna buy is right here. There and there. Then. Exhaust for a 2010 Articat Snow Pro Crossfire 800 in stock. No, no, I wouldn't have anything here. Asterville at J and K, if they would have anything there, not. Okay. Honestly. Okay. Yeah, but but in stock. The race would. Uh, Crossfire. It's just a Crossfire 141.
So I just got off the phone with uh, the Power Sword store, and we're gonna head up there. They have like a used stock one for the 2010 Articat, and that'll work. So we're still gonna head up there. We're kind of debating for a minute because we we're like, oh crap, it isn't gonna work out. But the third store Grant called worked out. They should be able to get it done. You gotta get up there. It's like a three and a half hour drive. You gotta be there by nine, so. We're gonna get up and go like at 5.30, hopefully. Unless Grant sleeps in like he usually does, but. He's busy clearing the snow. We're gonna get him loaded up. The sun actually went down. And he's just about done with the driveway. So I'm gonna pull the truck up and we'll get it loaded up. We just got here. In the suds and load, it was like a tough time finding a place to park, but. So guys, none of this footage is actually from up on the lake. This was actually the weekend before. It, w it was weird. First of all, I lost my GoPro and I went and I went to put on the snowmobile jacket right when we were like, right when we were getting ready to almost like kind of go out, reach in the pocket. There's the GoPro. None of the batteries are charged, of course, because I lost it. Uh, we just didn't. We probably rode like 20 or 30 miles up there, like nothing. <laughs> Crank it a bit, get it this way. 